We got some breaking news, folks. DJ Chark has signed with the Carolina Panthers. Right after I make a video, it always happens every single time. So Chark Week finally has come to an end. DJ Chark is going to be a Carolina Panther. The Lions new now do have a hole at the wide receiver position. Look, they can go in any parts of the draft to acquire a wide receiver, whether it be pick 18 or in the second or third round, fifth or sixth rounds. Doesn't really matter. Just depends who is viable for the Lions to now get to help out Jared Goff because DJ Chark and Jared Goff were on the same page making big play after big play the second half of the season. This offense was really rolling along with Chark on there. But now, with him gone, it is a hole for the Detroit Lions, Ben Johnson, Jared Goff in this offense. They need to have another player that can fill that Chark role, the ex-wide receiver, the fast guy, bigger body. Look, we do got Josh Reynolds that can go over there and play that role, but I think the Lions can definitely upgrade the position. I would prefer just to do it through the NFL draft. Look, there's rumors the Lions could trade for a wide receiver, right? We've seen that out there. Cortland Sutton from the Denver Broncos. It seems like all the Denver Broncos wide receivers over there, they could, I guess, go into the free agent market. But in all honesty, for the Detroit Lions, I think it's best to just draft a wide receiver. I think that's best for this football team. I do think that Josh Reynolds can hold the fort down you know, until that wide receiver really gets you know, implemented into the offense because you got Jamison Williams, who is going to get a plenty of snaps for this up-and-coming season. I think it's really important for Jamison Williams and Jared Goff to take time this offseason and just run routes and throw footballs together, not just in minicamp. We're talking about at Goff's house. And get on the same page. They really need to focus at this point to get that done because when you lose a player like DJ Chark, you need to have someone able to fill the shoes. And look, I think Jamison Williams is a much better wide receiver than DJ Chark, but it's the chemistry. It's all about chemistry. It's not about just ability. You got to get that chemistry. I mean, we seen it last year with DJ Chark in the first half of the season. There was just the chemistry was off with him and Goff and resulted in bad play. The Lions still got a really good wide receiver core. They got a ton of cap money, and this is going to be interesting because I initially thought, you know, with them restructuring just recently yesterday with Big V that maybe they were going to go ahead and sign DJ Chark, but clearly that's not the case here, and he's going to go to Carolina. So what are they going to do with that money? you got to understand $13 million of that's got to go to the NFL draft. So they still got plenty of money to spend. <laughs> so they can do something here in free agency to to build this team, not necessarily wide receiver, but you can look at other positions as well. Defensive tackle is one of them. Brad Holmes has been very strategic in his free agency. And look, like we gave out with Jamal Williams, I'm sure he gave an offer to DJ Chark. It's you, you take it or leave it. And I don't know right now what DJ Chark got from the Carolina Panthers. It has not shown up, but I'm going to assume it's more than what he would have got here for the Detroit Lions. So, And I like that about Brad Holmes. Whether you you like the players or not, you got to be fugal with your money. you got to be very smart how you allocate your resources financially or else it can hurt your team and you're going to be one of those teams like the Rams out there that's releasing players and cap purgatory. You don't want that to happen. you got to be smart, not just handing out big contracts to everybody. So... I'll definitely be doing a video here on my channel talking about players that the Detroit Lions can look to replace the DJ Chark role. You know, it's going to be, you know, players from the NFL draft primarily because I think that's really the best way to go for this position is in the draft. And again, it, we're talking about rounds one through six. Even though we don't got a seventh round pick, maybe we do, you know, if they, they trade back or somehow get another uh, draft pick. But We'll do that, go over these players and how it affects the Lions' offense as a whole. So, it, look, I wanted Shark back, but for the right price. 
And I trust Brad Holmes at this point to find wide receivers. I wish Chark nothing but the best over there in Carolina. He'll be having a rookie quarterback he's going to have to deal with. And it'll be interesting to see how, you know, that works out of there for DJ Chark. But, uh, you know, we still got some good wide receivers. I know a lot of people, you look at Tom Kennedy, even just even this depth chart, he did pretty good. He, when DJ Chark was injured, he was in there getting some getting some touches, and obviously he's not an X receiver or anything like that. But I trust Ben Johnson to able to schematically do good, even if you weren't to get a wide receiver you know, right now to replace DJ Chark high-end draft or anything like that. I, I'm sure Jameson Williams will get utilized a lot, Josh Reynolds as well, and they'll they'll figure it out because Ben Johnson is a genius at the quarter or at the quarterback giving to the wide receivers all offense uh, position. He's just genius to to schematically put everyone in position to succeed for Jared Goff and for the offense as a whole. So it'll be definitely fun to see what is going to happen here in a month. The NFL draft is 30 days away, and I think that wide receiver now can be put up there is is a position they'll probably draft at some point. Some point. I you know, again, I don't know what round it would be, but at some point that they can look to get a younger piece to join the beloved Detroit Lions. But uh, make sure you hit that notification bell again rumors and, and news and all that breaking news like right now I think now we can relax Chark Week's over with that was the last one I've been waiting on that ex, you know whether I whether you sign back or not I'm just excited and I'm done talking about it so that is exciting for me it's exciting for you because I think we're all tired of talking about it. let's be honest here so make sure you go ahead and hit that notification all of that with that said folks adios